When this thing started, we did not have grand aspirations. We were trying to solve a very distinct set of problems that were really quite basic. How do we discover what's in our data? How do we understand what's, what's really at the heart of some of our business operations? And it really just snowballed. It was, really was an organic development environment from the beginning. This is Open Data Hub's origin story. How it came to be and where it's going. When we look at the name Open Data Hub, we're, we're not all that creative with the naming of it. However, look at the true essence of it, open and data. The project actually started out looking at ways in which we could help democratize access to data for our customers. Very quickly, we knew that we also had to look at ways in which we could democratize access to AI and ML tooling. If you look at Open Data Hub and what it achieves, we created a community around this vision of helping customers with their AI workloads from beginning all the way to the end. Open Data Hub is really not a traditional open source project the way you would think about it. We call it a meta project in that it brings together multiple open source projects into a single platform. And that platform in this case is designed to provide AI and ML tooling as a service to allow users to be able to interact with tools, everything from data integration, data aggregation, data exploration, through model development, model deployment, model operationalization, and model monitoring, and to do this in a repeatable manner. It all started about five years ago when we were working on our cross-portfolio continuous integration system. One of the problems we were trying to solve was to look at those continuous integration logs over time and determine any kind of patterns and failures, be able to predict failures, and be able to, to give some sort of forward-looking projection on the overall quality of a given set of, of products. It was very clear we had a lot of data. We looked back and said, whoa, we are collecting massive amounts of data with how we do our build systems, with how we're analyzing packages and containers. And we also wanted to look at ways in which we could innovate with tooling that would allow us to analyze the data. But we wanted to do it in a way that we were using our own technology. This was really hard with the way our systems were built. Data was all going to different systems. Um, if we could pull that data together, there wasn't a lot of consistency in the format of the data. Then we had to analyze it, um, but then getting the results out, we couldn't do that in a unified manner. And then the systems we needed to actually run the analysis didn't exist. So we were buying a lot of different workstations and putting them under everyone's desk and trying to get them to run these things and try to share uh, artifacts like notebooks with, with one another. And so we sat back and said, well, we're Red Hat. We, we have platforms that we can do distributed development on. We can do sharing. We can do um, joint Git development. So we looked to build that type of system. And, and out of that was born what became the Open Data Hub. We put on there a common log aggregation system where all the developers had access to those logs. From there, we had Jupyter Notebooks. They could all share notebooks on the same platform. And then all the results could be published to a web server that was also running on that platform and shared throughout the company. And as we tried to analyze the data on top of Red Hat infrastructure, it allowed us to recognize that we had some gaps. And as we started to talk to customers, you know what? It wasn't unique to Red Hat. They were struggling with the same things. That's where Open Data Hub helped us. We looked at ways in which we could solve our own problems, and we knew that if we solved our challenging problems of analyzing complex, rich amounts of data, we could do the same thing for our customers. It just so happened one day when, when I happened to be in Boston um, visiting with my team that someone who knew of the project we were working on happened to be speaking to a customer uh, who, was, who was experiencing similar challenges and asked us to talk to that customer. And in that conversation, they were just enamored with what we had put together and asked if we could share the details. Um, at the time, this, this was not an open source project. We hadn't really thought that far ahead yet. But we, we heard this conversation two or three more times over the next two weeks with customers um, asking, hey, could, could you do something similar for us? Could you tell us how you could do it? Can you share these things with us? And ultimately we decided, let's make this easy. We do open source. Let's put this in an open source community. Things started to take off from there. Open Data Hub has been great. I'm excited at all of the creative ways it's been used. 
There are open source communities like OS Climate. They're looking to combat climate change and they're using Open Data Hub as a foundation for that. We're helping industries like banking, oil and gas, automotive, some of the largest manufacturers. So it's an exciting time. We're, we've graduated from the inception of this community project where we just wanted to solve our own problems but do it in an open way to businesses relying on these technologies that we're bringing in. And with the increased adoption of Open Data Hub, it's also allowed us to reach out to our partners and pull them into the conversations. As customers get more and more complex with what they're doing, it's important that we continue to evolve what we're doing and bringing more technology, more partners into the fold to continue to push the envelope.